Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna like highlight how to solve one of the, you know, important questions in uh, the QR factorization topic, okay? Which is how to find the matrix R if you are given A and Q, okay? So we knew that some matrices, for example, A can be factored as a multiplication of two other matrices that we called Q and R. Like, just like, when you have like a number like six, six can be written as two times three. That's it. But we do that for matrices. Okay. So the matrix Q and the matrix R has like certain properties, you know, and uh, based on these properties, we're going to solve that particular question. Okay. This question or this problem can be solved actually in two ways. A long way, uh, if you don't know the properties very well. But if you know the properties very well, especially one of them, then you can solve it in a very easy and a quick way and very accurately as well. Okay. So uh, let's see what we should do. Okay. So we started that A is equal to Q times R. Okay. So we're going to multiply from the right. And in matrices, it's not like scalars. Uh, in scalars, you can write from the left just like the right. 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 equal to 6. But in matrices, no. AB doesn't necessarily equal to BA. So we're going to multiply from the right by Q minus 1. So Q minus 1 times A equal to Q minus 1 QR. Of course, any matrix multiplied by its inverse will give you the identity matrix. So this is equal to I R. Any matrix multiplied by the identity matrix will be, will, be, will be the same. So that's equal to R. So we end up that R equal to Q minus 1A times A. Okay. So if we find the Q minus 1, we can solve this problem very easily. If we know Q minus 1. Usually finding, new, uh, you know, like the inverse of a matrix is very difficult. But in the case of Q, it's very easy. It's completely the opposite. And that, again, we go back to what I said before, that if you know the properties very well, this will be very easy for you to solve. So one of the properties of the matrix Q is that it's a transpose is equal to its inverse. And why is that? Because Q is orthogonal matrix. So Q, we know it's orthogonal matrix. Okay? Actually, it's orthonormal. You know, it's even better. So for that, because it's orthogonal matrix, Q minus one equal to Q transpose. The transpose of this matrix equal to Q. Okay. So basically, if we apply that here, the, the matrix R equal to Q, uh, Q transpose A. And of course, finding the transpose is very easy. And the matrix multiplication by A is also very easy. Actually, we're going to do this even online. So just avoid any mistake. Any mistake. We're going to avoid, you know. So let's do that. So I'm going to make here just a random website that do this calculation for us. Okay. So let's start by uh, finding uh, the Q transpose. So, yeah, transpose of matrix. That's good. So we have here like 4 by 2. So it's 4 by 2, okay, so uh, it's minus 2, minus 2, uh, 5, 2, 4, and the second column is 5, 2, minus 4, and 2. I'm going to leave you, of course, uh, with the matrix Q has, uh, like, let's see, yeah, let's uh, bring this to a side here. So if we look here at the side, so the matrix Q has 170, okay? I'm going to leave this to the end. It's, uh, it's, so it's okay to solve and just at the end of the day, you multiply by this 170, okay? So that says basically uh, Q, let's review that, minus 2, minus 2, 5, 5, 2, 2, minus 4, 4, 2, equal, here it is. So uh, R equal to 1 over 7. And here is uh, like Q transpose. 
minus 2, 5, 2, 4, 5, 2, minus 4, 2. Of course, it's very easy, but I'm just using my electronic stuff to avoid the mistake. Okay, and we should multiply this by A. And just, I just check here, A is 4 by 2 matrix. This is 2 by 4 matrix, right? So look, they are consistent. Cannot multiply two matrices unless the number of columns here equal to the number of rows here. And that's what we have here. Okay, QT and A. Okay? Good. So, let's now do the multiplication. I believe here the same uh, website can do multiplication. Yes, matrix multiplication calculator. Let's do the multiplication here. So the first matrix, basically two by four. Again, I'm gonna leave, leave this like one sevenths to the end. That's fine. Okay, so two by four. Second matrix is uh, A, which is this one here. It's four by two. Let's fill them out. Okay, so minus two, five, two, four, five, two, Minus four, two. So check minus two, five, two, four, five, two, minus four, two. Now let's do A minus two, three, five, seven, two, minus two. I might have a mistake. Check the end. Four, six. Let's check that. So minus two, three, five, seven. 2 minus 2, 4, 6. That's very okay. Now let's multiply them together. And here is uh, so R equal to 1 over 7, 1, 7, 49, 49, 0, 49. 49 is equal to 7 times 7, right? So we can, you know, multiply all this matrix, all this element inside the matrix is 1, 7, and that will give us. Seven, seven, zero, seven. That's the correct answer. I guess. Okay, guys, that be, that's basically it. You know, uh, it's very like insightful problem. You can solve it in another way. I'm gonna leave it for you. It, it's longer, uh, and since it's longer, it will be more error prone. But if you know the characteristics, this solution is the best one. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and see you in another video. Bye. -bye.